Hey, yo, check this out. It's your boy, uh, Picasso Verbidelic, and today is March 11, 2017, 10.21 p.m. Man, I, I just got through watching a Khalif Browder documentary. I'm not going to lie. It got me emotionally messed up right now. I've seen about the story years ago. I'm getting, I, you know, I seen a story about him years ago and I watched it, but I just watched the documentary that Spike and Jay-Z put together. It kind of messed me up. I'm not going to even lie, man, what they did to that little young brother. I'm just watching, beating him up, how the justice system, our so-called justice system in America did him. And I just naturally recorded myself right after I watched it so I can get my natural emotions. I'm looking like, I got a headache, by the way, too. Oh, my God, my head is hurting. But that's messed up what they did to that brother, Khalif Brown. That, watch the documentary on Spike. It, it's all the interrogations and putting you through a little kid. I know I know they try to say he did this and he did that when he was young. You have to watch this, the whole documentary. But, man, they messed that dude's life up. And you could just look in his eyes and see the pain and see he wasn't all the way there. And I, I was even reading about his mother. Um, she passed away. A little bit after meeting Jay-Z of a heart attack. The whole story just messed me up. I seen it, like I said, years ago, from like a couple years ago, three, maybe three years ago, I don't remember. I didn't never know it was that in depth, how they went inside his life story, how he evolved from from being like a adopted or whatever. About a lady. I can't even get my words right, man. I know a lot of times people think that as black men that we won't escape. We want, we want somebody to pat us on the back and we trying to make somebody feel sorry for us, but it's messed up what they did to that little young brother. I can see him in his eyes just watching his interview. I watched all the news clips. I just watch, I've been just gorging on it. So I can just, I don't know, it just got my attention. Even before Jay-Z, but it really got my attention when I seen these little, I just like, you don't know, something about it just pulled me in. I don't know, something about this, something about this little guy just pulled me in. I don't know what it is, but it's something about it that just moved me in, just make me just want to just, no more and, and investigate and just wonder just how many other black men and any other humans is going through the same things in prisons across the world. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a grown man. I'm not cut like that. I couldn't even make it in them circumstances on Rikers Island or none of that. Man. None of these prisons. So you got to have a special kind of mentality to sustain in that, in that environment. The 16 year old kid they put it on. With grown men, they were beating him, stomping him out. Guards beating him, stomping him out. It's a bad way to go. Then he killed himself. His mother had to walk in and see that. It's, if you get one thing, I hope that one thing people may get from this documentary, or just especially the older people, is have more compassion. It's like Trump and Mary Giuliani and all the people that's in charge who just compassionless. They so they so far ahead in life. It's so, not far ahead. Like they so. It, out of touch, but they forgot to have compassion and love. I'm not saying everybody in the world is right. But you don't treat, we treat dogs and cats better than we do in humans. You know, the people in charge, they don't care, just compassionless. They, they don't, I, and I guarantee they don't even care about him being dead. They don't care about that. <sighs> that Khalif Brown story just messed me up. I got a headache tonight too, by the way. I don't know why my head is hurting. Whew. It's not good. My head is killing me tonight. But I had to just speak on that because I wanted to convey the natural energy that I felt right after I watched it, just a bevy of emotions. You know? You have to have compassion. That's something that we don't have in the, in the world no more. Nobody cares no more. Even the, these people are hired, even the, the guards is hired to work in these prisons. They don't care about these people in prison. They're just animals in another number. That's their job. I felt bad just watching his family, his mother. Just even this, it's just a good job they did Spike and Jay-Z with the editing and the directing. The whole thing is just emotional. Just, But I don't want to look, I'm looking at for it. For it. I, I look at it really to learn this story because I think it's a story that, that will need to be told. Now. And I thank Jay-Z for doing this. And I'm, I don't know Jay-Z. Never met him, probably never will. I've been backstage with him a couple of times, a long time ago, but I never just officially met him. But I think he did that from the sincerity of his heart because he want sometimes sometime as a man, you know, something ain't about the money. Sometimes you just want to help people and be a conduit to convey the message. 
that Khalif Browder story messed me up. But I'm still drawn to it. Even though it's something, I, I, I'm, I'm, my heart beating when I'm watching it, even though I know the brother's gone, but I'm like, definitely they got live footage from serial, I mean, not serial, uh, surveillance cameras. Beating the boy up, they just beating him up, putting him in solitary confinement. This guy, when he got out of prison, his mind was still in there. He, his mother said he was just walking around in a four block square around in a driveway. Interviewed his friends. They just dug so deep into his life. Them and the, and the uh, judicial system. And it's just a shame that that brother had to, that brother had to leave this earth under those conditions, that mental condition that nobody cares. In the black community, to be depressed or to be emotionally unstable, it's, look, it's, it's not taboo to go get help. Everybody, oh, you all right, man? You be okay? It's just a joke. Nobody cares. Whew, man, that headache. Oh my god. Watch the Khalif Browder story for yourself. Just watch it. Don't talk bad about the brother. Don't judge him. Understand that's a. He was a kid. When he died, he was 22. When he was a kid, 16. The, the, the average grown man, would, I, I see a lot of these artists, a lot of brothers playing like it's all cool to be tough. The average the average brother can't even sustain in them circumstances. Especially prisons like that. They call it Rackers Island, the Guantanamo, the Guantanamo Bay. America. You know what that is, Guantanamo Bay? It's not a joke. It's the humans. We treating animals better than we doing humans. So, uh, Thank you, Jay-Z. I know a lot of times people are hard on Jay-Z and making jokes about him, but I appreciate him using his, his power. That's what you use power for. You use your power, your, your influence to make a change, to invoke change. I don't have much power, Jay-Z, but I'll use my little power that I have in Dallas. Not a lot, but I have a little. Maybe like, man, probably like 40, 50 people may see this, and I'm cool with that. But to try to invoke change, you just can't treat people like that's a kid. Rest in peace, Khalif Browder. Rest in peace to his mother. I'm not a good reviewer. I, I just speak from the soul, so I know my stuff is not all eloquent. I'm not an eloquent guy. I just, I just want to convey my emotion, just upload it. You know, I don't, I don't care about no editing. I just. When I was young, I thought I didn't have compassion, but as I evolved and metamorphosized as a man, I'm like, did you just do a human being like that? This guy's dead. Nobody cares. Even the people, they don't care. I know they don't. They probably hoping Spike TV don't even run the show, but I hope Spike run this show forever and ever and ever and ever and ever, and I hope they forever haunted by the people that done it to the brother. Rest in peace, Khalif Browder. Rest in peace to his mother. Was like, her dean, something like that. I forgot, I forgot her name. Rest in peace to that sister. Imagine, imagine as a parent, you walking in, you already know your son is not right because you know your kids, even though your kids may not think, but if you're a little in tune to life, you know your kid ain't right after such a traumatic event. You walking in and you see your son hanging from an air conditioner pool, they say. Oh my God. I don't know that. Watching it just kind of messed me up, but I get sometimes you need to be messed up. America needs to be messed up so they can they, they, they can they can they can love again, have compassion, empathy, feel sorrow. Some people call me sensitive, and I am sensitive. I'm glad I am, but it's not about me. Rest in peace, Khalif Browder. Watch the documentary on Spike TV. This part one, part two, part three. It's in three parts. Jay Z, you did a good job, my dude. I know you don't know me, but I'm just letting you know as a black man, I think you did a good job. Thank you. Rest in peace, Khalif Browder. Watch the documentary.